grandchildren have been married 17 years. <laughs> so Daddy would say, look at what we started. <laughs> he would probably love to see all of them. Uh, then in 1953, she became a grandparent, a proud grandmother of Steve and Jeff and Sue. We got one of the first televisions in the early 50s. She probably watched when John F. Kennedy was assassinated in 1963 on television. But she probably didn't listen so closely to the Beatles' release of their first album. <laughs> but she, she probably remembers the bear that she saw walking in the woods by where Grandpa built a cabin up north. And we love spending time at the cabin. Then 63 to 73, the Vietnam War was in full swing. And the end of the Vietnam Accord was signed. I think it's 73, 72. Anyway, a web of political scandal started about then, indicating a decline of moral direction in our country. A burglars broke into the Watergate complex in 72. Vice President Spiro Agnew resigned in 73. But at that time, mother's family was growing and she had seven grandchildren born between five years, 64 to 69. Sonia, Julie, Michael, David, Bonnie, Chad, and Michelle. Not them here today. From 73 to 83, President Nixon resigned in 74, and then in 83, Reagan announced the public availability of global positioning satellites. And remember Reagan's plea, Mr. Mr. Gorbachev, what? Tear, Tear down, down that wall. wall. Yeah. Come on. And then Flashdance premiered. That was a movie that, like, that Betty loved. <laughs> From 83 to 93, the, in 83, the U.S. compound in Beirut was bombed. The shuttle Challenger exploded on its second flight into space in 86. During this decade, Daddy's health was declining, and he died 11 years ago. No, 21 years ago. From 1993 to 2003, the 9-11 tragedy occurred with an enemy attack on New York and Washington. In 2003, the U.S. invaded Iraq and captured Baghdad. Shuttle Columbia was destroyed in 2003. This is when mother had her first bout of cancer in 1994 and later reoccurred in 2002. But she's here to tell us about it. She's cancer free for 12 years now. From 2003 to 2013, in this day, Katie added, she added great great grandmother to her title, six times, seven times, sometimes over. We are we are all saddened when her grandson Michael Mortensen died at in 2011 at age 44. He had a powerful impact on our family. People are here too. Does anybody have anything to add before we post mother? Anything you remember from all these decades or from the Smalley reunions? Yeah. 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 Do you remember the Smalley reunions went on for 59 years in um, <coughs> Osage, Iowa? And then later we went to Osage too. But we, the then we went to Todd ground. Park and what? Yeah, Park. playing on the school ground. And yeah. Great Grandma Smalley was a rubber nose. Yeah. Rubber nose? What was that? Yay! What was her rubber nose? Yeah. What was it? Tell, tell us. She had cancer, and then she had they made a fake nose out of rubber, but it wasn't very good, so she took it off a lot. And us kids were scared of her, unfortunately. But so when she had it on, it just looked like her nose, but it was rubber. No, it didn't. It didn't. No, I didn't either. They, they're better now with the plastic surgery. It was the first one, wasn't it? Was it the first one? Someone told me, and I haven't. You want me to get you some? Uh, documented it or anything, but that it, there is something at the Mayo Clinic Museum about her rubber nose. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, really? Wow. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that was yes. Anyway, we're here to celebrate Mother's 100th birthday. We all agree that she's been here her whole life. So let's yeah. cheer her and give her a Are we gonna sing? Yeah. Yeah. Day to you.